Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who need to find her redo and I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making YouTube videos. So today we are here for my February numbers. I'm gonna give you the numbers of what I uh, total sold, what was my gross profit, what was my net profit. I'm gonna give you all of that at the end of the video, but let's start off with my sales that had a gross profit of over $25. That means that after eBay fees, after shipping and everything, it was over $25. Now, the cost of goods may have taken it down, but usually it's only one or $2. And I was looking at it real quick. I think that only like applies to maybe one, <laughs> looks like it. So let's find out what were my top sellers. And these are in no certain order. I just needed to get this video out. It's almost, it's like the 12th of March and I still haven't gotten this video out. So here we go. This um, one item that sold was a pair of Carhartt insulated overalls. These sold for an all in of 73.46. So that means with shipping and with um, the cost of goods. Shipping and fees were $19.69 for a total profit of $53.77. I did pay $10 for these, so my net profit was $43.77. And these actually went to a town 30 miles away. This went to the town that I do most of my thrifting in. So, you know, thankfully shipping was not that expensive, even though it was a very heavy object. The next item was a vintage Hammersmith Nordic vest. This was a beautiful vest that I found at the bins in Rogers, Arkansas. It was just so pretty. And the buyer was all in for $72.55. Shipping and cost of goods, this did go to England. I mean, shipping and fees, it did go to England. But by using Pirate Ship, I was able to get it in under $20, whereas this would have cost me more than that had I used the eBay shipping. So just remember, check out Pirate Ship. The, you know, they, nobody receives any money for partnership or anything. It's free, so check it out. Uh, the total profit was $45.22. My cost of goods was $3, so, and that's just kind of an estimation. I kind of just estimated. It was, kind of, it was a little heavy. It might have weighed two pounds, so that's what I estimated. So my net profit was $42.22. The next item that sold that I've had literally for three years was a Katherine Kelly lambskin coat. It was beautiful. I could not understand why it wasn't selling, except for it was more of like a blazer, so that may have been the reason. But the buyer was all in for $47.61. Shipping and fees were $15.08. Total profit was $32.58. Cost of goods was $5 on that, so I made a profit of $27.58. The next item was a Prada top, okay? This I got in a designer box, and the buyer was all in for $60.15. Let me go back to talking about the Prada top. I still don't know what it was. I think it was a vest, but I really don't know. And I put all that down in the description, you know, I'm not sure. Please look at the style. I could find nothing on it. Um, I even put it on Facebook and people were like, well, have you tried Google Image? I tried all of that and I still wasn't having any luck. But it did all in for $60.15. The shipping and fees were $16.53 for a total profit of $43.62. And this is where when you get a designer box, my cost of goods was $19.01. So I made a net profit of $24.61. I made a profit. I got to open up a fun, uh, a Goodwill designer box. I'm happy. <laughs> the next item were six full mask CPAP um, by Respironics. Respironics, that sounds good. These were actually bought in two different transactions. One person bought four of the mask and one person bought two of the mask. The total sale price for these six items was $80.90. The shipping was $25.27, shipping and fees. 
The total profit was $55.63 and the cost of goods was $9. I picked these up for $1.50 each at uh, Salvation Army in Conway and I still have two left. Um, and I th thought I had four, but I've only found three of them. So I need to decide. I haven't relisted this. I don't know why. I guess I just need to relist it as three um, items and uh, just kind of tweak and do a sell somewhere. So the net profit of those items was $46.63. And as you know, hard goods are pretty darn easy to, to list. I don't know why I don't list them. The next item was a Zap Tile Cleaner. Back probably a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago, I don't even know where I was, Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. And they had a clearance table and I went over there and it sewed, it had these Zap Tile Cleaners. And I thought, well, that's interesting, I'll run them. Hey, they were great. They were selling for like $50 a piece on eBay. Yes, $50 a piece and I was getting them for 75% off at Bed Bath & Beyond blew me away. They sold out fast. I mean, as soon as I could get them listed, they were selling out. Now this, on the other hand, was at a at the um, Bargains Galore on 64. It's a thing they always have in Arkansas in August, where it's a big uh, yard sale along Highway 64. And I found a another type of Zap um, tile grout cleaner and everything. And there was like one that was half empty and one that was full. I mean, there was like four bottles and two were full and two were about half empty. And I listed them and I mean, literally they sold in like a week. And these were the older kind. I mean, that stuff must be killer. I started to keep it for myself and it's like, dang, I can make money on that. So the buyer was all in for $65.11, the shipping, and fees for 2107, uh, $2107 uh, for a total profit of $44.04. The cost of goods was $3. It was came in a box, it was $3. And the total net profit um, was $4104. I'll take that every time. Sorry, my nose has decided I'm videoing, so let's run. The next was a pair of S Max Mara new pants. And these were, the buyer was all in for $70.15. Shipping and fees were $17.87. Total profit of $52.28. This did, uh, cost of goods was $18.79 because it did also come in a designer box. But I still made a profit of $33.49. You know, you think, oh Prada, yay, I'm going to kick it. Well, I made $24 profit on that. X Max Mara which is a wonderful brand, you know, I made $33. So don't, just because it's that great name, the others may do just as well. The next was a pair of Echo Windsor loafers. The buyer was all in for $40.15. The shipping and fees, thankfully this went close because I couldn't fit them in a flat rate, uh, was uh, $13.96. The total profit was $26.19 and these cost me $3. And this was my one that was below and it was $23.19. And I wanted to go ahead and do that because I wanted to talk about the Echo loafers. Most Echo, well, okay, a lot of Echo shoes that have the rubber soles, when you do this, let me put my sheet of paper down, when you do this with them to check if they're durable, they go crack and it just splits right down the middle because they've got dry rot. These, I had twisted and danced and done everything, and they didn't. So I was tickled when they sold. But do know that a lot of the loafers that have that rubber bottom, be sure you twist them, divide them, do everything, because they will dry rot. The next item, this was my best sale of the month. This was an awesome sale. This was a pair of Chippewa Engineer boots, and these, the buyer was all in for $238.51. I know. The shipping and fees was $41.32. So I had a total profit of $197.19. These did cost me $21. I bought them on my uh, last outing up to Northwest Arkansas. 
So I had a net profit of $176.19. And I had had an offer for $150, like um, just a few days before that. And I was really it's like, how do you turn down $150? I mean, that's awesome. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to shoot back at $200. And they decided not to take it. They declined my offer. It's like, okay, you just listed it. It's okay. So it wasn't long till I had an offer for $225 and we went with it. The next item was a J Song linen dress and jacket, real pretty blue, kind of a robin's egg blue. And it sold for $40.11. The buyer was all in for 13. I'm sorry, the shipping and fees were $13.62. For a um, net profit, total, I mean, not getting all confuzzled. For a gross profit of uh, $26.49, this cost me $3, so I did make $23.49. Apparently, when I looked the first time, there were several that were $23 and above. Okay, the next item was a pair of Kenneth Cole Chucka boots, and these sold for $60.10. Shipping and fees was $25.38. I had a total profit of $34.72. They cost $3. Thus, I had a net profit of $31.72. I mean, these are just normal things that you're seeing. Yes, that Prada was designer, and yes, that S. Max Mara was designer, but everything else is just your everyday run-of-the-mill stuff. The next item was one of the prettiest items I sold. It was a Bryn Walker linen dress. It was in a pink. It was so pretty. The buyer was all in for $66.41. Um, fees and shipping were $16.86 for a total profit of $49.55. This cost me $3. So I had a net profit of $46.55. I really wanted to list it higher and just wait it out. And I probably could have gotten more money, but it was good to get it on out the door. The next item is a pair of UGG Australia fleece line slippers. And these, the buyer was all in for $41. The shipping and fees was $10.31. Total profit was $30.69. And these also sold for $3. So I made a net profit of $27.69. A lot of these boots and shoes I'm getting at one of my honey holes in Moralton. And their shoes are $3. Unless they're half price and then they're $1.50. That's wonderful. Okay, the next item was um, an item that my daughter-in-law gave me. She has recently lost so much weight. I mean, she looks great. I'm so proud of her. And she gave me all her scrubs. She's a, a RN, so she gave me all her scrubs. So this was two sets of Grey's Anatomy scrubs. They were the navy blue, and they sold all in for $56.10. Shipping was $15.06. Shipping and fees were $15.06. Total profit of $41.04. These cost me nothing because my daughter-in-law gave them to me. Thus, I had a net profit of $41.04. When you have scrubs and stuff like that, consider if they're the same size or any, anything like that, consider uh, lighting them together. You know, you get them moving. If you're paying a dollar or two for them and you can get $25, then do that. Lot them together and sell a group and look for the largest sizes. This Grey's Anatomy scrubs were three X's. That's why they sold for so much so quickly. The next item came for, to me from a Thread Up Fun Box. It was a Vera Bradley cosmetic bag. The buyer was all in for $40.45 and the shipping and fees was $11.33 for a total profit of $29.12. And on that box, um, the average cost was $3.01. Thus, I had a net profit of $26.11. So, I mean, I almost paid for my, my fun box right there. And y'all know, when I get a fun box, I get all sorts of goodies in my fun box. I get things that I sell, things that I keep, things that I give away for presents. The fun boxes are the best boxes, in my opinion. The next item was my second highest grossing item, and it was a Woolrich Corduroy Quilt and Sham, and I picked this up at one of the Honey Holes in Conway. And when I say Honey Holes, I'll be glad to tell you where they are. It's not like I'm trying to keep it a secret, but these are generally privately owned thrift stores or like community owned thrift stores. 
It sold for $163.45 all in. Shipping and fees was $40.83 for a total profit of $122.62. I picked this up for $10, so I made $112.62 off of, you know, it was a beautiful quilt. I contemplated keeping it, but you don't, it's like some things you just don't keep when they can sell for that much. The last item from eBay that sold for more, let's say more than $23, since I did have three items, and I may have had more, I just didn't include them, was a pair of Nike Air Monarch tennis shoes, and these were in a, I don't remember the size, and the price is there, but it was like a 3E. I mean, these were very wide leather shoes. I picked these up from the bins up in Rogers, Arkansas. I mean, and this was in a bin that lots of people had gone through, but you know what? They were, you know, they were big, they were wide, and I guess people didn't want them. I was glad to take them off their hands. Shipping and fees was $14.61. The total profit was $31.09. Um, I estimated my cost. These just barely weighed over a pound. So I put it at $1.89, and the total net profit was $29.20. That's great. So... I've showed you in the eBay, I got things that I thrifted at um, the Goodwill Outlet. I got three things I thrifted at my Honey Hole in Moralton and at Salvation Army in um, Conway and at the uh, Ghost Store in Conway. And I may have gotten some of these from somewhere else, but I remember all, all of those came from those places. So, I mean, great sales. And I never, none of, I don't think any of these came from Goodwill. And I know I still go in Goodwill because I find good deals, but I don't, if I only have a little bit of time, I'm going to my other places because Goodwill charges $4.50 for a shirt. Well, if I'm selling it for $14.95, I've really cut into my profits. So if I can get the same quality shirt for $2, why wouldn't I do that? I only had one item that sold on Poshmark for more, where, where I had a net profit of more than $25. Um, with Poshmark, I, I uh, cross list through list perfectly. And with Poshmark and Macari, they don't get any of my items until they're at least a month old. I have enough trouble keeping up with sales and stuff without having to delete everything that's three days old. So after a month, if I, if I deem it to be Poshmark or Mercari worthy, then I'll cross list them over there or Etsy. And this was a Latch Mama maxi dress. It sold for $34. I had a total profit of $25.70. I bought it for a dollar. So I had a net profit of $24.70. Not $25, but right up there. And that was the only one that was pretty close. Um, what do you think about my different sales? I hope you've enjoyed looking at them and seeing them, that they're just normal things that you can find out in the wild. So go out looking for them. Don't just say, oh, that's not designer, I'm not gonna get it. Or that's not this, I'm not gonna get it. Be open to lots of things. You know, expand on your horizons and buy things that maybe you've never seen before, but when you run comps, they look good, so take a chance. Now, I'm gonna go over my sales for the month. My, I thought I could get this in before the clocks went off. I had 119 eBay orders, I had two Etsy orders, 30 Poshmark orders, and one Macari order for a total of 152 outgoing orders. Now, I look back at my data, and one year ago, I was getting 152 eBay orders every month, but also wasn't getting 30 Poshmark orders. So it's balanced out. You know, I think it's great. I'm, I'm glad I'm cross-listing. That way, whenever things happen, um, you've got some great deals um, by cross-listing to other platforms, okay? I had $3,620.40 worth of eBay gross sales. I had $44.95 in Etsy gross sales. I had $578 in Poshmark gross sales. And I had $18 in Macari gross sales for a total gross sales of $4,261.35. 
Now my shipping was high this month. I sent several things international, but it was just high. I'm not, you know, you saw there, there were a lot of heavy things in what I sold. The shipping was $731.38, and that is eBay shipping as well as pirate shipping. Anything that I get through Mercari, um, I ship through pirate ship, uh, and anything that goes international goes through pirate ship, and sometimes my heavier items that are smaller will do better shipping through pirate ship, even if, on eBay. So I had $537 worth of eBay fees. I had $3.82 worth of Etsy fees. Oh, and my Etsy packages, is that right? Yeah, they both went through Pirate Ship also. The Poshmark fees were $136.72, and that included the fees and any kind of shipping discounts I got. And what do y'all think about them up in our shipping discount? I don't really like that. I don't know, not much I can do about it. I want to sell on their platform, so I'm going to do what they tell me to do. Uh, the Kari fees were $2.62 for a total cost of $1,411.54. My cost of goods was $515.50, and I always just round it to the closest 50 cents, whether it's at the dollar or the 50. Total net sales, and this is wonderful, in February, this is great, $2,334.31 for my total net sales on the different platforms that I sell on. So four different platforms and that's what I made. I had a total gross ASP, average sale price of $28.04 and I had a net average sale price of $15.36. You know, it always helps when you get those really big items that kind of offset those smaller. I mean, I had, guys, I had lots of small items that sold. I mean, I'm sure you, you do too. But I just wanted to highlight the um, big ones. That way you might be on the lookout, Bolo. Some, I started watching uh, YouTube videos on reselling and everything, and people would say, Bolo, Bolo. Well, it took me forever to realize, probably because I didn't pay attention to them, that Bolo means be on the lookout. So. You know, these are just some items that you can be on the lookout and hopefully make you a little money in the future. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more um, about what sold and um, unboxings and hauls, then hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I put out my next video, then hit the bell. I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your Redo.